We are now in day 22 in the search for Ryan Larson. I'm here at Central Park where people will be meeting at 730 for a celebration for Ryan's birthday. This is the exact same spot I was in on day one. And tonight I spoke with Chief Lawson to talk about what where they're at today. At Walnut Creek, the water levels are still low, but you can find some people fishing as a missing sign blows in the wind. Seven miles away, outside of the Larson's apartment, a pole is decorated for Ryan near the last place he was spotted, La Vista Kino. Police cars are now decorated with a green ribbon for Ryan. Although three weeks later, these things look different, Chief Bob Lawson says the search isn't over. This, this week's a key week for us. So how does a 12 year old vanish? Chief Lawson says they're exploring every possibility. We have expanded uh, a radius of uh, looking into sex offenders that live in the area uh, on uh, the Douglas County side. And so we'll, we're, we're diving deeper into the history of some of our sex offenders and where they were. Right now, the only sightings of Ryan are a blurry La Vista Kino video and a neighbor who saw him near the apartment. And getting more surveillance video is challenging because police need a subpoena to even see it. We don't know what's on him. And in a couple key places where we believe uh, Ryan might show up on video, possibly, uh, we don't have access to those videos right now. Chief Lawson expects those subpoenas to come back this week. They're also planning to get enhanced surveillance video from Quantico, but they're still asking for your help. It's like he was there and he's gone, um, but somebody knows something. Somebody has to know where he went and had to see him, um, and somebody needs to come forward. I asked Chief Lawson if they found any new information during their neighborhood canvas last week. He said they did not. Again tonight, they will be meeting here at Central Park at 730 for Ryan's birthday. You were asked to wear green. Reporting live, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.